hi and welcome back. Um, this week I am going to be talking about um, books, all things books. Uh, I'm a big reader. I have been reading obviously my whole life, um, but I was a big reader as a kid. Um, Harry Potter was my first love. Um, and then, you know, it's just always progressed on into my adult life. Um, <laughs> I, I am dyslexic, um, but I'm a big fan of reading. It's just a good way to escape from just the world and everything. So, you know, I have a really big imagination. I really like reading. So um, recently I went to a friend's house um, because I was in between books and didn't really have anything I was reading. I didn't feel inspired. So um, I went through her whole little bookshelf. She has, she has a really great collection. Um, and I came out with like a bag of books that I'm borrowing from her right now. And one of them that I, I just finished was the Beautiful Creatures series. Um, it's a four part series, um, starting out with Beautiful Creatures. They, um, made this book. She wrote it back in 2009. It's actually two authors, um, Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Um, it's like I said, a four part series. It's beautiful creatures, uh, beautiful darkness, beautiful chaos, and then beautiful redemption. And at first I really was standoffish about the book because um, they did recently make it into a movie and I've heard mixed things about it. Um, a lot of people said it was, they were like, oh, it was like Twilight. And I was like, mm, I'm not sure if I'm going to like that um, because I did read Twilight. Um, wasn't a huge fan, but I do like that sci-fi, vampires, wolverines, witches, and shit like that. So um, I had a feeling I would like it, so I was just like, all right, let's just try it out, and if it doesn't work out, then just stop reading it. So um, starting out with Beautiful Creatures was the first one. Um, it's a story about a girl and a guy, obviously a love story, if you will, but it has more than that. Um, it's about a guy named Ethan in this small South Carolina town, which I really like that it was kind of southern-based because I am from Texas. Um, so, you know, everything from the South just really makes me happy. So, um, it was nice to just see that tied into the storyline or the, the style of the story. So that was really great. Um, but it's about a guy named Ethan. He starts having these dreams about this girl that he's trying to like rescue, but he doesn't really know, you know, who she is cause he can never see her face. And then, um, of course she's a new girl who comes to town and it's like, Oh, who's the new chick? She's so cool. Um, <laughs> so it does have, it does have its cheesy points. I'm not going to lie. Um, and it is about two kids in high school. So that was another thing that I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like it. It's like, you guys are in high school. It's not that serious. Um, so there are a few points where I was like that, but I really liked it. I like how they wrote it, how, um, you know, the story is about how they were able to, before they knew about each other, um, they were able to talk to each other by, you know, through their minds, um, you know, where no one else could hear them. Um, but it comes to be about her. She's actually a witch. Um, and then when she turns 16 is when they figure out if she's going to be a light witch or a dark witch. So it starts out with that and then it just kind of builds into a bigger story where there's more background to it. And, um, you know, I don't want to give away too many details because I feel like going into it being a four part series, it's like any detail could really give away a spoiler but it has been around since 2009 so um but it's just you know it's a really good book it has um a really good build up to it um it has a good couple of plot twists that i didn't see coming so i really like that um each book i think it's like you know they're pretty thick um so they i think all together each book contains over 500 pages so um you know being dyslexic it's easier for me to read books on my ipad um on a kindle and things like that i'm um, especially because i'm almost blind in my right eye um i have horrible eyesight so um kindle reading is really better for me just because it's really bright and i can you know really see the words better but it was really nice being able to hold a book and read it like this the old the old fashioned way um but you know i really suggest this story if you like you know that witch and you know wizard if you will type world um and of course anybody i would think every Everybody loves a good love story, um, even if you're not female, because uh, love is where it's at. Um, but, you know, I really suggest this book just because um, I really like the context of it, the buildup of it. Um, <laughs> there are, you know, a few things that I was just like, you know, I'd have to research into and kind of look around just to better understand, but that's just how I am as a person. I really like to dig deeper than what they offer you in a book, so um, I like to read more into it than I can. Um, but it's really good. I really suggest it. Um, like I said, it's about them, you know, figuring out if she's going to be light or dark and then how he ties into it and how they're able to talk with, you know, their minds when no one knows that they're speaking to each other, um, which I believe is what they called Kelting or Nelting. Um, I read words different than they're written because of the, you know, dyslexia. I sound words out wrong. So there's like a main, I actually have a main character in here. His name is, come to find out, it's Macon, M-A-C-K-O-N. And um, so like bacon, but with the M. And um, when I was reading it, I kept calling him McCoon. So when my friend uh, Marissa, my best friend, the one that I borrowed the books from, she's like, no, that's, that's Macon. I'm like, oh, okay, well, 
anyways. So, <laughs> um, but it's a really good story. You know, it definitely has a lot of detail in it, but it's not, you know, jam packed and there's a bunch of characters, but it's really easy to follow along to. Um, and it definitely is interesting. So if you're looking for a new book, I definitely suggest the uh, Beautiful Creature series. Like I said, it goes into Beautiful Darkness and then um, Chaos and then finally uh, Redemption. Um, so, you know, it's four books, so it'll keep you busy for a while. Um, I'm about to go through the bag that she gave me, and there's more books in it, um, so I'm about to start up a new a new book, a new series, hopefully. Um, but if you have any books that you're wanting me to review or that you really like and you want to share, please put them in the comments below. Um, I'm hoping to regularly do, um, as the ones that at least I enjoy, uh, do book reviews as I go, because book, you know, books and reading are just a really big part of my everyday life. Um, so. You know, I like to say that I definitely suggest this one. It's not like Twilight at all, so it's not like stupid, cheesy, where, you know, but it's just really sweet, and they have really good passion for each other, and it makes you really appreciate the relationship that the two characters, Ethan, and um, her name is Lena, or Lena, depending on how you sound it out. Um, but it's just a really sweet story, and I really like it. So um, I definitely suggest it. Um, next week, I'm going to be doing um, another Lush haul. I recently went in um, this weekend, and I got some... Uh, they came out with this new thing for toothpaste. Um, it's called Toothy Tabs, um, so it's a different form of toothpaste. I don't want to get into it right now because I'm kind of doing a little bit of an experience on it or experiment on it, um, so <laughs> just to see how well it works. So uh, stay tuned for next week. I'm going to be doing another Lush haul. Um, so if you have any comments though about the book, um, please let me know, but I definitely suggest this book series. It was really interesting, kept me really intrigued throughout the whole series. I mean, I actually finished it, and I will, I will definitely give up on a book if it sucks. Um, I'm not going to... Oh, we might get better now. If you can't keep my attention span, I'm done. I got to move on. It's like ADD for me. So, um, but definitely suggest the Beautiful Creatures series. Um, they're, they've been out since 2009, so they're not that expensive anymore, I believe, since they've been out for a while. And then they did come out with a movie for the first one. Um, I haven't seen the movie yet because I knew I was going to read the books and I didn't want to see the movie and it changed my judgment on it. So um, this weekend or maybe next weekend, I'm hoping to see the movie and see if they murdered the book or if they did it justice. So if you have any comments about the book series or anything else in general, obviously just put them in the comments below. Um, I'll be back next week, like I said, with the Lush Haul. So um, just stay tuned and like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I uh, appreciate y'all for watching.